The art of criticism is a new network that uh, we have built up over the last three or four years. It started off with almost the classic crisis of criticism that we see around in so many countries, in so many different cultures, namely uh, that there is less space in uh, daily magazines, on the radio, on television, um, no specialized uh, magazines anymore, a readership of criticism that is going down, right? So there is and has been now for maybe a decade or even more really a decline uh, in professional uh, criticism. We see that happening in many different fields from architecture, literature, uh, theater, performing arts, visual arts, and also uh, our own field, internet and new media, right? There's a lot of promotion and there's not enough critical reflection, right? So there's a decline there. And people over the last years have come together and said, how can we turn this around? Because we need, you know, we need professional uh, discussion amongst uh, us. We are professionals. And we need to be able uh, to, to judge our work. And we will do that anyway. We will do that nonetheless, right? Maybe I won't do it in front of a camera on a website, but then I'll do it at home in the kitchen or I will do it in front of a professional uh, committee or uh, yeah, some kind of... Uh, because the evaluation business is, is strong, right? So criticize uh, criticizing something and, and valuing the work of yourself and others is definitely there it has not gone right so what has gone is the public aspect of the criticism okay so how can we bring that back the the question of this network which started off in Flanders and in the Netherlands and uh, in in the Dutch language uh, uh, has now turned uh, to a European network and is done in English so that it's more accessible uh, to people. But of course, also in our culture, in our own language, we face this issue right? because critique is very often uh, expressed not in English, not in the in international global language, but in our own language, right? Turkish, Dutch, German and so on, right? Okay, so how can we solve this uh, problem? And this network looks at experiments in art criticism. How can uh, uh, art critics, for instance, use the new tools that we have? Podcast, blogs, maybe even AR, VR, uh, uh, you, you name it. We have a lot of tools. Uh, and uh, very often the art critics don't really know more than writing a small piece for, for the paper, right? And so we need a re-education there and we need to instruct and help young people to make that transition.